Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you're having issues with your bookkeeping, please follow the link at the end of the video to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Thank you. In this video of Customer QuickBooks Training, I'm going to show you how to modify your invoice. So let me first take you to my sample invoice for my Make Believe Consulting Company. I'm going to click on Create Invoices. And then at the top of the screen, I'm going to choose Print Preview, because I want you to see what we're starting with. This is what our invoice template currently looks like. In the upper left-hand corner, we have our business name, our address, kind of. Our boxes around everything and then at the bottom we have these other lines they don't really line up maybe when you look at this you think oh my gosh that that's not how I want my invoice to look I want to show you how you can modify it so when I'm in the invoice I can come up here and I click on formatting it's just above the little disk for save and then I can say customize data layout it says, okay, you can do this, but the one you're about to customize, this template called, let me show you, uh, called Intuit Professional Invoice. You can't change that. You have to make a copy and then you can change it. So I say, all right, customize the layout, make me a copy. Right now, what I can see in the upper left-hand corner is that my template is called Copy of Intuit Professional. That's important to know because I can rename it later. And also if I don't want to rename it, I'll know what it's called so that I can find it. The first tab, which is selected, is called the header tab. And it just says, okay, which of these titles do you want to have display? The first column is screen. So what do you want to display for yourself, the person using the QuickBooks? And the second is print. What would you like to display when you print or email this to your client? If I uncheck the word invoice, I won't see that showing up when I send this over to my client. I'm definitely going to leave it checked. Let me find something I may not want to send. Um, so bill to ship to, this is for consulting services. So I wouldn't have a ship to, but I'd have a bill to. I might not call it bill to, I might just call it customer. So it's going to replace this text over here on the right with the word customer. So you can kind of see that. If I wanted to, to include PO number, maybe I'm working with organizations that issue a PO number, I can reference that. I don't have to. Um, the terms, it doesn't have the terms on the print, but maybe I'd like it to. I really want my client to know when stuff is due. So I'll put terms and I'll say also include the due date. This pop-up, by the way, just says these fields may overlap and I can fix that later. So now terms and due date. You kind of get the idea of the stuff you can toggle on and off. The second tab is our columns tab. Let me go ahead and click on that and show you what options we have. When we click on columns, we can see right now that the only columns displaying is description and amount. What we can add if we want is the item. Item, if you remember, that's when we say, here's what we've sold, and we kind of give it a shorthand description. It's available to us on the screen, but it doesn't display for our client on the invoice. They just get the long description of what we sold them. If I toggle and I say print the item onto the invoice, then there'll be this column here. I don't really see the upside for printing the item, so I'm going to leave it unchecked. Then there's quantity and rate. When I look at the preview of what the invoice looks like that the client will see, I can see there's a description and there's a total amount, but there is not a quantity and a rate. If you wanted to add it, you certainly can. So you can see what it looks like now. And then there's other, so if you had custom fields, you can add that, we're not going to. The third tab is for your sales order columns. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that for now. The fourth tab is the footer. That's your custom message, your total. You can add stuff such as balance due. Balance due is useful in case a client had paid toward an invoice, you wanna be able to show them, originally your invoice was for this much money, you've made payments, and here's how much is left. You kinda of get the idea. Mm -hmm. 